Hello, this is Franklin McMahon from Media Artist Secrets, MediaArtist.com. We are here at CreativeCow.net, and we're mixing it up with some audio using Adobe Audition. And in the last tutorial, we went over uh, finding the VST folders to, to locate some plugins. We also went into noise reduction and compression. So now we've got a file that looks uh, and sounds, well, it looks good, but also sounds Hello, this good. is Franklin McMahon, and you are listening to CreativeCow.net. Oh, my goodness, that's very exciting. Now, the last couple things we're going to do, we're going to export it to MP3, but we're also going to do a little normal, normalization, which is a little hard to say. But all this will do is kind of boost up the audio, so it's a nice, loud level. Um, there's nothing worse than sending a file to a client, and they have to kind of crank it up, and you know, you don't want that. You want a nice, good, even level, and normalization will do that for you. Now, there's two ways to do this in Audition. I'm going to show you the quick and dirty way, and then I'll show you a little bit more of an involved way. Uh, let's do quick and dirty first. We're going to go to Effects and Amplitude and Normalize. And um, basically, if you just leave it at the defaults, this normalizes to 100%. And I'm going to click OK. And there we go. And basically, it just boosted all the highs and lows to a nice, even, you know, it, it boosted up to 100%. Now, this is a pretty good clip, clip. It's not clipping or anything. It's not off the charts. We don't have to do a lot of processing to it. It's pretty good. So if we boost it, it boosts up very nicely. And normalize is a nice, easy way to just make it a little bit louder. Hello, this is Franklin McMahon, and you are listening to CreativeCow.net. Okay, so nice. The, the levels are nice. It's boosted up really nice. So that's a good quick and dirty way to kind of get it done and export it. I'm going to do undo. Now, there's a little more scientific way of doing it, and that is the group waveform normalize. And I'm going to click this, and we're going to analyze the loudness. I'm going to reset it. We're going to analyze it again, actually. And it's going to scan for some statistics. And basically, it's going to show you the, the average um, level of the clip, the loudness. And um, you, know, you, you really get a good sense of if you have any problems in this clip, you'll see it right away. Um, and the last one right here is Normalize. This is where you can kind of uh, have some control over the final output of normalization. Now, you can normalize it to the average level of the source files, which pretty much evens it out and makes it loud, compared to the actual sound file. You can also type in something. Uh, I'm going to type in 9 dB and uh, do it at a specific level. Um, limiting. Again, you can leave this toggled on. No limiting will, will just, if something clips, it clips. But limiting kind of keeps the um, peaks from going off the charts. And I'm going to leave this on for now. It is the default in Audition. And unless you're really up on audio, you can leave it on. It'll help you a little bit if you do have a problem file. This file is not too bad. I'm going to run normal. Normalization. There we go. So again, it's the same one. Oh, let's hear it. Hello, one more this time. is Franklin McMahon, and you. Are oh, let's not. So um, as you can see, now you've got a nice looking file, and I always say nice looking because a lot of audio is actually visual. You can hear it through your headphones and listen to it, but you can also see a lot of problem areas too. This clip has little to no problems at all. It's nice and it's very even. It's not peaking off the charts. It looks good and it will sound good. So. The next thing we want to do is we want to send it to a client. So sometimes you'll send a wave. Sometimes you'll send an MP3. MP3 is not too bad. Um, you can get pretty high quality. And it, unless your client is an audio engineer, they're not going to really tell the difference. So let's export it as an MP3. But before you do that, I want to show you just one little trick. Um, if you go into Wave Properties, and if you get used to doing this step before you actually save out to mp3 it's very handy now as you know mp3s have tags and you can actually input tags that will travel along with your mp3 file so we're going to put uh, cow audio oops, audio uh, take seven and um, we're going to put Franklin it's Franklin oh well let's just put um, Ted <laughs> Dancing? No. Ted. Oh, Jones, I don't know. Um, but anyway, so you can type in an album name. Uh, you can do the uh, genre. You can just do that right there. Um, comments, you can type in comments. You can uh, type in really as much as you want, and that will travel with the file. We're going to clip OK. 
God, I thought that would be the easiest part. But um, anyway, so now when you export, all that info is going to be with the MP3 file. So we're going to do a save as. I'm going to go to cow audio. And we're going to quickly just switch this. And we're going to look, we're going to go to MP3 Pro and go to options. Now, MP3 Pro is a great system. Um, I usually leave it toggled off. It's not completely compatible with all, uh, and you'll see if this pull down here, um, you're able to actually select anything you want. Um, MP3 is what you should leave it on. Um, constant bit rate or variable, it's not too essential um, for, for what we're doing here. But I wouldn't toggle this on for this particular one. Again, it's a good system, but it's not entirely compatible. With, and you don't know where this MP3, MP3 is going to go, or who it's going to go to, or who's going to who's going to play it, or where it's going to be played. So we're going to leave it on the the normal default um, preset. You can actually um, use the defaults or s create your own if you want to, just by clicking Add. And we're going to go to this one right here and click OK. And I'm going to leave this uh, file name right here. And we're going to click on Save. So, boom, there you go. We've saved a MP3. Wasn't that exciting? So, again, we've normalized the clip. We've already, in the last lesson, uh, did the noise reduction and compressed it. But here we normalized it. We did a little bit of uh, analyzing so to make it you know, really look nice and sound great. And then we export it to MP3. And the main thing I wanted to show you with that was if you go to the Wave properties, you can actually input a lot of comments. And this is important, especially if you have multiple versions of different files and different takes and you're sending it to a client. It's always good and very handy for yourself as well as a client to have a lot of that information contained in the file. So those are some uh, tips and tricks for Adobe Audition.